What's up, everybody? Welcome to my let's play of Sands of Salazar. We are in the 1.0 release. As you can see, the menu has changed. If you actually look at this game before, these characters didn't look like this. So we still have the Spirit Master. We have a Spirit Witch now. Um, we have a Jackal, the Shaman, Knight Errant, Berserker. Then we have the Sentinel, Sultan, the Nameless. You can look through these if you would like and read like some of their skills or like what they start off with. I know the Sultan is the one I play when I want to look at the um, building part of it, building a kingdom and such stuff. But we're going to play this game as we're just slightly new to it. Yep, just doing this to make sure y'all be able to see this. If y'all want to stop and pause the video and read. All right, so I'm playing as a spirit master. Confirm. And I think I'm going to keep his default look because it's kind of cool, but I can create. You can go and start messing with the hair, the face, the body, the trinkets and stuff. But I think I like the default look. And we're just going to type in shops since that's the name of our channel all right and we do get to pick legacy points um i don't know what i want because you can pick up to 90 zero out of 91 which so i think before you had to play the game and earn points through each playthrough but now you can just pick so let's see incision i think we're gonna base our stuff off magic so let's see any movement abilities into the shadows. That's it. That, that is one right there. Coming fields will increase the damage dealt by 10%. Kind of like that one. Well, probably not. We just need to get. I'll probably get like lightning bolt. Actually, frost bolt because it's like it does a slow, if I'm not mistaken. Or that just really slow. Freezes the target for two seconds, yes. Of course, blast the missile. Call upon an occult. Three lights. Bolts of light. Burning vial. Throws a vial. Kind of like that. We get like some AOE type of burn poison damage going on. And let's get flicker. Flicker's gonna be my movement ability. And then we're gonna put the rest probably into coins, I think. And then we do start off with a companion on this particular one. Oh, you can start off with squad stuff too, but it's that's just the companions you can start off with. In which this character already starts with a companion. So we're not gonna worry about that. Or you can change your favor the way you start off the favor. So we're not gonna do that either. Confirm. You are a spirit master. There are many wizards in the land, but you are unique even among them. Erasing memories, controlling minds, creating illusion. These are your unique tricks as a spirit master, but you must act discreetly for the name Ripshot remains prominent in the world on wanted posters. Getting dizzy again? Who are you? Uh, we, I think we should play as we know her. I'm fine, Zainab. Shaking my head, I'm fine. Remembers a woman floating to your mind. Your deceitful wife. Are we still going to Amarath? Amarath town? Zainab is worried about your health. Her words remind that you came back from hell with one grove to find the one that took everything from you. So although that's our goal, it's best to like take your time in this game. It kind of builds yourself up a little bit. And for the fight that's coming, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my skill point in Psychic Bullet. Probably could've went with one of these first. You still have to allocate points even though I picked them. This just means that I can learn them, but my first point will most definitely go into Flicker that'll give me some movement. I think she's fitted to be like an assassin melee person, so we're just gonna keep her that way. That way she'll be like, the front line. 
This guy says, you're new here? So I ask some questions. If you ask any questions about the stuff, he'll answer them. I'm not gonna ask the answer those right now. I've done that before. And this is the first fight right here. You hear faint calls for help carried by the wind. The wind gets stronger and sound becomes clearer. After a while, you finally get to see the owner of the voice. It's a middle-aged man and he grasps at a masked woman's hand and runs desperately. Chasing him is a humanoid monster with essence of flame. I think that's supposed to be essence. Yep, save me. Before you can respond, humanoid monster rushes toward me. I'm gonna kite him a little bit in here. Cause our smoke does damage too. That's one thing we gotta remember. If we can hit people like deep back behind and have them walk through our smoke, it'll do like a lot of damage early on. So we're gonna do a lot of, of that kind of kiting and throwing our smoke ball out. My name is Malik, I am a scholar. She is Isra, an orphan I picked up in Twin Luna Valley. She was interested in many studies, so I took her with me. I think that Isra girl is the girl from our intro, which if, that, if you haven't watched that video, that's the first video on the channel for this series. Um, let's see, what do you study? Ah, uh, in the age of war, it seems like a useless profession though. I study the history of this land, not the old empire or the Machina age, but something very obscure. The Machina age was a part of one of the classes you can pick early on or one of the abilities you can pick early on, but I haven't seen that ability yet. So I think maybe they moved it for like something you can do a quest for and unlock, but the old empire, I'm not really sure what that is either. I haven't played this game really, really far, but I've looked around the world. As long as you are okay, the monsters seem appear to the monsters appear after the black sun rose into the sky. They appear human, but they even have human faces because their bodies are covered and flying. We call them Ifrit. Why did they attack you? <laughs> I can just straight up say goodbye to this dude. If you're lucky, you never encounter one. If you're violent by nature, they especially like to attack humans, human mages in particular. So maybe they're like anti-mages? This kind is weak, Ifrit. Isn't even self-aware, but it's sad. More, it is said more powerful Ifrit are smarter than human. Though I don't know if that's true or not. Thank you. Please accept this token of gratitude. I think he gave us some cash. You are a kind person. Ahead of you is a is dangerous. The area ahead of you is dangerous. That's just you proceed with caution. They express their, gal their, their gratitude, then they continue their journey. I discovered that if it deteriorate very quickly, they like burnt charcoal, they fall apart bit by bit and fall down. So they're basically like the essence of fire, is what they seem like. The battle of the Black Sun has made this world unrecognizable, but people have never stopped fighting it. I feel like the intro should be redone because they don't talk about the battle of the black sun. They feel like it's like part of the base history, but you have to piece it together as you play the game. It's not just like, oh yeah, the battle of black sun happened and these things were in it, but now you have to fight them because they're rising up again. It is the same like basically it is. Continue the journey. So and go to the main area by following the caravan and oh you can now start wherever you want to start it uh i'm just gonna do redstone valley because i know the other areas can be really really dangerous starting off and i got this guy here he's gonna say hey did you follow the caravan don't look surprised that's how I came to Salazar. Well, people always seem to complain about how far they travel, how small their bag is. Oh, he's going to sell me inventory. So, 
If I want to, I can spam my bag. I can store stuff. Get a little herb right there. Let's pick that up. I'm gonna go down here. Yeah, it's a little chest down here. Rage Elixir. Let's see what that does. I got temporary boost to your if I allies crit rate. And you can just drag this down here on your hot bar. Let's put that R for Rage. I think this is a healing orb and mana orb. I have one of each. Oh, this sucks. Returns you to the last city. Oh, that is new. I guess this has a seven day cooldown. I guess this is just in case you want to like to help you fast travel. We start with a wooden one and shabby clothing. So the first thing to business. Oh, what did she start off with? Should probably be upgrading our stuff. Iron sword is landing rope. See what he got. I don't have enough Utar to hire our troops, but I know fighting alone is too dangerous. I don't have to train it with selling more animals. He's selling more animals. Let's see what he got. Trace tent. I don't have any pets for sale. How is he here if he don't have pets for sale, bro? Can I go there? We can, but it's not gonna take me nowhere. Get that right there. Bandits are here. This is prestige point. Oh, oh! Where did that thing come from? Bahar. Bahars are not easy to fight this early. Oh lord. Let me see if I can help her. I can get the last two, I think. She died quick. Too quick. She better learn how to fight. Oh, we got him. We got a level from that, I think. We did. Okay, let's get... I think we should get Flicker. Just saying. Or should we get just another one of these? We also need our... Oh, we can't get it to level 3. Our shades, because that'll give us like more units. We're gonna get flicker though. And we probably should put flicker on W. So let's move everything down. Guess no more R for Rage. Zaynep, she got the skill too. So, um, conscious of toxic fall or poison. Why she don't use this if she got it? She just kind of runs in. Can we increase the evasion? Level three. Oh, only on level two. Smoke bomb, maybe? No, I can't get that either yet. Sword play. Let's do that. That'll make her swords much. Oh, we can talk to her. My troop doesn't need. Get him. Oh no, don't say that to her. Can I talk to you about something? And we can give her a gift. I guess that's like the favor system. Like, how do I tell that she's favoring me already? Is this? No, that's her XP. She is the younger sister of my deceased wife. Lively and mischievous. I wonder if she runs off into her own adventures. Oh, I see what they did too. They have ambushed me at the prestige stone, those uh Bahars. But they was weak though. I think they was just made for happen. Recommended level three. I don't know if I can do that yet. So let's skip that. The game is a lot harder this time around. So if you're just like, why didn't he just fight him? Because the game is a lot harder this time around. It's not meant for you to do stuff if you're not that level or close to that level. So at level two, we are counting on it and we probably be able to do it. But I still feel like we need upgrades. Like I used to be able to just run in the game and just go in here 
at level what it says five on it. I just clear it out by myself. When I when my character got this grown, but let's explore a little bit more. Actually, let's fight the black. Actually, we're gonna stop right here. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, subscribe. Right here is where we're gonna end it. We'll be fighting the black. The, 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 why do I keep saying black? I want to say Black Brotherhood because they're evil, but they're not evil. I don't know. Desert Brotherhood, whatever you want to call them. We'll be fighting them when we come back on the next episode. I'll see you guys next time.